Well, hello, it's day two of our prep challenge. If you want to find any information that you need for this challenge in the Facebook group, and that's the free Facebook group that I have just for these Trim Healthy Mama challenges, you can just search or click on hashtag three day prep um, challenge and you'll be able to find everything related to this particular challenge. So today, what we're talking about for day two is having a backup plan. Now, I have to tell you, if I am known for anything as a coach or in the Trim Healthy Mama community, it is my plans for DHM. I like to have a plan A, I like to have a plan B, and I like to have a plan C. That's how I find most people are able to stay on plan. Again, if you join one of my six week boot camps, the focus is on eliminating excuses so you have no reason to go off plan ever. You're able to stick to it 100% because even if your original option doesn't work out, you have two backup plans in place. So today we're briefly talking about making a plan C. Um, what I love about this system is there are just times in life where you're too busy to cook, you're too tired to cook, you're missing an ingredient, you are planning something for dinner and then nobody feels like eating the thing that you planned. So that's one big reason I have found people go off plan a lot of the time is just that whatever they had originally decided to eat, the plan A that we talked about yesterday, your meal plan, whatever they decided to eat just doesn't sound good anymore. They just want something different. That's okay, that happens. And having the freedom to change things up a little bit or having the freedom to make things a little different, to choose something you enjoy a little more, that freedom is one of the great things about eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle. Now, this plan, this backup plan we'll be making today, um, I have found that this is something you can spend just a few minutes doing once a week or less because you may not need it during the week and it can help you with long-term success. So it's pretty, pretty necessary in my opinion. So like I said, in boot camp, we go into this in detail and um, actually I've actually, I've written three, put together three books for living this lifestyle. And this is the one that I'm going off of today. This is the perpetually prepped ki kitchen, simple method for meals and minutes. I only sell digital copies right now. And obviously there is tons more, um, of printables and resources and meal ideas and all recipes and all kinds of stuff in this book, but I'm giving you some of it for free today. So there is a lot more here. If you've joined the next bootcamp session, please do not buy this. It is in the shop section of my website, but you'll be getting this for free. I think it's a very useful tool. So if you're in bootcamp, you don't need this. Don't worry about it. You'll be getting a copy. But what we're doing today and what I've pulled out of the book for you guys is some pantry meal idea. So let me explain the concept. Um, the idea is to get a basket. Any basket's fine. You don't need a special basket, just any basket at all. And you're going to put all of the ingredients for one shelf stable meal in the basket and keep the basket in your pantry. Then if your plan A meal doesn't work, let's say the meat you were planning to eat went bad or your teenager got into one of the ingredients you needed for dinner or something happened or maybe just your original meal doesn't sound good. The idea is that you can grab one of these baskets and have dinner on the table in less time than it would take to go to a drive through and eat off plan. That's the goal here, okay? So I gave you some meal ideas on this pantry meals worksheet. There's three ideas here, and you can come up with your own too, um, but it's just basically you put them all, put everything, so like one example is the my no tortilla soup recipe. So it's one can of corn, two quarts of chicken broth, one can of black beans, one can of chicken, one can of mild rotel, and one Ziploc bag, and it tells you what seasonings to put in the Ziploc bag. You put it all in one basket, keep it in your pantry, and then when it's time to eat, you just grab the basket, put all of the ingredients in a pot and let it simmer for five to 10 minutes and you have soup ready to go on the table. It's pretty tasty. Uh, probably the most popular recipe that's not on this sheet is my Hawaiian chicken recipe, but there's a ton of ideas you can find online. You just want all of the ingredients to be on plan and to be one fuel. So you want it to be an S or an E or an FP. So these are all three, these are three E ideas on this worksheet for you to try. Um, you could make three baskets. I recommend having more than one just in case one of your backup options doesn't sound great. Now, if you're in my boot camp, we will have a plan C option available if these things don't work out for you um, on an evening. But I do recommend always taking 
a few minutes. And actually what I like to do is I'll make these baskets one time and then every time I use one, I just restock it and stick it right back in the pantry. But if you don't have time to restock and you want to come back and create new baskets another time, that's totally okay. Like if every weekend you spend five minutes just prepping baskets, it only takes a few minutes to just stick the ingredients in there and put them in your pantry. It's so simple and easy. So the tasks for today on your day two sheet, and again, if you don't have these, these will be posted to the Facebook group. Use the same hashtag to find them, or, or you'll look to, in the files too. They usually pop up in the files. Um, you're gonna get a backup plan in place and write it down so you remember what you have available. It really helps to take your plan B ideas and just write it down on your meal plan for the week, whatever that looks like, so that you know what you have available if your original plan doesn't work out. You're gonna choose S and E options for baking ahead. So what my simple trick for super easy THM breakfast is every Saturday I'll make an E oatmeal, um, a giant baked blueberry pancake from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook, or maybe Trim Healthy Table pancake, something that's on plan that's an E. Then every Sunday I make something that's on plan that's an S, a bigger meal, like a casserole, or um, you know something along those lines. Then I'll portion it out and use it for the week. I'll just alternate S breakfast, E breakfast, S breakfast, E breakfast. And as a coach, I know I don't want anybody really eating the same fuel for the same meal every day. Like if you're eating S breakfast every day for breakfast, S E lunches every single day, S dinners every single day, I've just found that switching it up tends to get better results with this plan. So having those two different meals for breakfast, different recipes for breakfast, prepped and ready to go, go so you can grab and alternate them, that just saves a ton of time. So the second part of this challenge for today is to choose which options you're gonna bake ahead and then decide when you're gonna do it. You can do it this weekend, you can do it when you have time, you could make um, an S recipe while you're making your dinner and just put it away and finish it the next morning. Whatever's easiest for you, that's another way to save a lot of time and be prepped ahead on this plan. And getting into that habit is critical, I think. So you always have your breakfast ready to go either in your fridge or your freezer. So um, then for shopping, you're going to purchase the ingredients for your plan B meal in your pantry basket. And you can do your S or E meals if you breakfast if you want to. And then you're going to assemble your plan B and keep it ready for last minute meals. So to recap what I want from you for today's challenge, pick your pantry basket meals, decide what you're eating, make a shopping list so you're ready to get what you need. Maybe put something together if you already have the ingredients, just in a basket or box, it doesn't have to be fancy, in your pantry so it's ready to go as a backup, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is to choose an S or an E breakfast or both, which is what I like to do, to prep sometime this week for the week ahead. So when you prep them, you should be able to portion them out. Um, if it's just for you, you could maybe half a recipe or do just one thing and freeze the rest of it, whatever you're not gonna eat. Or if it's for the family, you might wanna double it. But the idea is to have an S breakfast and E breakfast ready to go and to alternate throughout the week. So those are the tasks for today. I will have more to you tomorrow, more for you tomorrow for day three. If you're following along with this challenge, thanks for joining us. I am still so excited to be getting above that 7,000 member mark here in this challenge. It's pretty fun. Um, and if you have any questions, go ahead and post in the group. Hopefully this is self-explanatory enough, but I'm happy to answer questions if you have them. I just wanted to reiterate to you, the idea with these pantry meals is to just take all of these ingredients in one basket in your pantry, and then they're all pretty much dump recipes. You may have to, and by dump recipes, I mean you just dump the ingredients in and make them. You may have to, like the first one is a quinoa dish. You do have to cook the quinoa when you're making your meal. That's something to consider. Um, the other ones are pretty much you just dump them in and go. So they're pretty simple and easy, and they are a lifesaver when it comes to staying on plan. I hope that's helpful and I hope you have a great day. Bye.